we were talking of a normal dal which is sold loose in the market and has been given the name of top taste dal and the best taste dal. But the duty of the people who are selling it as a product does not stop here because the consumer is confused. The same dal is available as loose. The same dal is available as top taste dal brand and as best taste dal. So which one to buy? Thus, the people who are selling it as branded product have to make a further effort. And this is done by, when they talk of the top taste dal, they are trying to in fact bring about the social tradition into account. That is to say that the Indians always eat what is top and always treat their guest what is top. So, eating the best and feeding the guest what is best is being advertised by the top taste dal. Now, the next is best taste dal. What shall they do? They will try and put their effort to the nutritional value of the dal. They say it's the best dal, okay? Organic dal, it is something which is not available in the market. The best fertilizers have been used and the best seeds have been used. So thus, they are laying their emphasis on the best dal, that is the nutritional value. And here, Everybody would like to feed their children and themselves with the best nutrition that is available in the market. So that's the magic of advertisement. The same simple product is sold as having qualities which are much more than those which are being sold in the market. But let me tell you, as far as dals are concerned, whether we buy loose dal or we buy the top taste dal or the best taste dal, most of the dals are of the similar category.